Well, hopefully we remember from our introductory videos that with a triangle, we have three perpendicular bisectors. You can see those on the screen. What we should notice is that when we have our three perpendicular bisectors, so one, two, and three, we can confirm, yep, they're right angles. No matter what shape our triangle takes, these perpendicular bisectors all meet at the same place. So I can put a point at that point of intersection. This is a very special point. And this is called the circumcenter. So when three or more lines, rays, or line segments all meet at one point, they're called concurrent. The perpendicular bisectors of a triangle are concurrent, and the place where they meet is called the circumcenter. Let's look at our triangle again and see what we can notice about the circumcenter. Well, let's look. Right now we have an acute triangle. So we notice that our circumcenter will move around, but it always stays to the inside of our triangle. But watch what happens when I make a right triangle. The circumcenter is now on the midpoint of the hypotenuse. And now watch happens if I make an obtuse triangle. My circumcenter moves outside the triangle. So we have acute. We can have right. And we can have obtuse. The more obtuse the angle, or the greater the degree of the angle if it's obtuse, the further that circumcenter moves away from the triangle. So what you will want to have done in your notes is that when our triangle is acute, the circumcenter is inside the triangle. When our triangle is right, the circumcenter is on the hypotenuse and it's actually at the midpoint. And when our triangle is obtuse, the circumcenter is outside the triangle. Well, here is our list of important observations. First thing is that the three perpendicular bisectors are concurrent and they intersect at the point called the circumcenter. We notice something else though when we look at a perpendicular bisector. And this point, the circumcenter, always seems to be equidistant from the vertices. So no matter how I move this, even if it's a right triangle, if it's obtuse, if it's acute, the point G is always equidistant from A, B, and C. And that's because G, and we'll look at this, since G is on the perpendicular bisector of AC, we already know it's going to be equidistant from A and C. Since G is also on the perpendicular bisector of, seg of side AB, then it has to be equidistant from A and B. That means that our circumcenter G is equidistant from all three vertices, A, B, and C. That's our second important observation. The circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of a triangle. What this also means, though, is that since G is equidistant from the vertices, I want you to take a moment and think about the nature of a circle. And that in a circle, a circle is constructed by coming up with all the points that are the same distance from the center of that circle. I know the circle is changing sizes right now, but imagine it was staying fixed. Well then, what we know is that we can construct a circle with a center G that will go through every vertex.